Let's now implement DREF for one of our types. Uh, let's see, we're going to imagine that, uh, that we have this, uh, this type here, uh, holds a number. And uh, this number is going to have a, uh, a U8 inside of it, and we would like to, uh, to do some fun, fun stuff with this number. Uh, we want to give it the, uh, the power of, uh, of a U8 and be able to, uh, um, you know, also uh, use the, uh, this to uh, dereference and get inside of it. Uh, but right now it's not going to work until we implement it and I'll just show you uh, how it uh, how it doesn't work so we have uh, we, we have this holds a number we put a 20 inside of it and then we say let's print it and you know we would like to and notice we don't have a, we don't have debug here yet so uh, but we want to print it and this is what we'd like to do uh, my number and we'd also like to add 20 to it so we would like to print 40 and it says um you know this uh it cannot be dereferenced which makes sense because it doesn't have the deref trait so uh we're going to go to deref and see how to do that uh that's box uh there we go there's deref and you know you need to implement deref uh, if you're going to, uh, well, the, the deref method, if you want the deref trait. And uh, here it is. So you, uh, first you bring it into scope, use standard ops deref. And then, um, you know, we have uh, the best way to do it is to steal code and uh, and then try to see what, what it's talking about and then uh, do it for your, for your own type. So we have uh, implement deref for deref example. Well, this isn't generic anymore, so we don't need these Ts. <clears throat> and type target, well, this is going to be a U8 because we would like to get at the U8 inside of it. And uh, let's see, function self target. Well, we've got, um, and you can see how the, uh, the associated type is connected. So once you say type target equals, uh, you know, whatever, then uh, <clears throat> it's going to connect self to target. And this is saying uh, it's returning a U8, basically. And uh, self dot, uh, self, not self dot value, should be self dot zero. So, uh, because this is, you know, dot zero. So let's see if this works now. And uh, for, of course, not deref example, holds a number. Let's try that again. And there you go. So there uh, we have successfully implemented deref. And so that gives us, you know, everything, everything that we could want from, uh, from, uh, from a U8. Um, and by the way, we're using this, uh, this star to dereference um, because it's not a, uh, it's not a method, but if we go to the, uh, the U8 type, we can see, uh, you know, it's got all of these methods here. So let's say exam, for example, we would like to use the, uh, the power method. So we would like to uh, say, uh, let's say it's 10, and we would like to print my number to the power of two. This is just a U8, so we don't want to get too big or it will overflow. And um, and you can see it, so we, we don't have to, you know, we're using a, uh, a method, so it's going to dereference for us because we have uh, deref, and uh, this gives us access to all of these methods, which is uh, which is really neat, um, and that's basically all there is to it. You just think, what uh, what do you want deref to give you to give you? What do you want to have inside of it? And then um, and then you will get all the method methods for this uh, this type here. Um, and then after that, you can do uh, deref mute uh, if you uh, if you need to do it mutably, and that is uh, that is really easy. Uh, after you implement uh, deref, you go to, let's see, it's basically the same, uh, the same signature. And you can see there it is right there. So it's the same except for the, uh, the type is already, uh, we've already told it what type we want. So if you want deref mute, um, you can see the, uh, the associated type, this thing is gone because uh, deref mute uses uh, uses the information from uh, from deref. So uh, we just uh, hold a number. So it's exactly the same, except this uh, the self becomes mute self, uh, the self target becomes mute self target, and then you have mute self dot 
whatever you'd like to return and uh, and that's all there is to it and I don't think it's going to complain um, do, 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 implement because I forgot to bring it into scope DREF mute so now it should be okay <clears throat> there you go 100 so that is uh, how easy it is um, and then for the next video, uh, I'm going to show you something funny um, because of this uh, this note here. So it says, um, you know, it makes uh, it makes it you know it's really convenient. Uh, however, the um, you know the point behind uh, DRAF is um, it's supposed to be for smart pointers, so boxes or you know this uh, this holds a number we made. It can be used, for example, if you have like. Um, uh, if you want to make your own like uh, number type, uh, your own integer type, so you have uh, say an i32 and you want everything in an i32, but you want something different, you want to like implement uh, your own functions on top of it, and so you would make like a struct, you know, um, you could even just call it an i32, put an i32 inside, and then you you know implement uh, implement uh, DREF, and then you would. Uh, you know, implement some other functions on top of that, and that's one uh, one common way to do that. And that's definitely uh, definitely like a smart pointer. Um, but it says uh, you should only implement them for smart pointers to avoid confusion. And that is because you could uh, you could take um, you could take this big big struct, uh, you know, like our city city struct we always make. You could have name, and you could have uh, population. You could have like all these, all these things, and then, <clears throat> and then you could implement DREF for that, and then you would have it with, you know, you know, maybe like a, you know, a U32 over here, and you would have, um, you know, all the powers of a U32, even though the struct is not really, it's not a smart smart pointer. It's got all these different. Uh, reasons for being and it's uh it's just it's weird to have uh to to have it uh deref to a uh, u32 because you would uh you know you'd put a, a star there and it would uh turn into a u32 which is uh which is really funny um and that is actually what i'm going to show you the in the next video and uh, one last thing before i finish um if you look at string and go to uh deref you can see that it implements DREF with type stir. So now that we know how DREF works, you can see um, this is part of the uh, the close relationship between the string and stir. <clears throat> is uh, part of it comes from uh, that string uh, actually implements DREF and stir is the target. So that tells us a little bit more about how it works. So next video, I will show you that uh, example of uh, how you should not deref.